Good morning, it's Jeffrey with Howells Carpet Cleaning, a local carpet cleaner. And today's job, we are going to be going through, and as you can see already, that there's tons of debris on the ground. So this is where the uh, pre-vacuum comes. Extremely crucial just to get all this, this stuff up off of the floor. We've gone through and picked up the big chunks and strings and stuff so they don't get wound up and caught in our vacuum cleaner. But we are working in roughly seven areas that we're going to clean. Yes, I do per room, per area pricing generally, unless there's any specialty spotting and things that need to be done. But as you can see, some of the the rooms are more vacuum than others, but we are going to start in the back where master bedroom where there is tons and tons of debris that needs to be vacuumed. So first things first, we're going to go through and give everything a very thorough vacuum with our Kirby vacuum cleaner. That is the first phase of our carpet cleaning process here at uh, Howell's Carpet Cleaning. And then upon the pre-vacuuming is the pre-spray. The mechanical agitation using our cylindrical brush machine and then we run our hoses and lines through the house fire up the truck and do the uh, the steam cleaning um, powerful truck mounted steam cleaning process which is uh, the the most uh, recommended cleaning process by uh, area rug carpeting and furniture manufacturers worldwide so um, probably best um, well I, I want to step back um, I prefer doing a very uh, kind of like a hybrid carpet cleaning approach where you're coming in you're pre vacuuming the carpet you're getting literally 79 to 80 percent of all that that dry nasty stuff out of the carpet before you even get started we're using mechanical agitation we're using a soap free product a encapsulation product it's going through there just to loosen up those dirts and kind of uh list them there's a soil suspension process that's occurring there we're giving them a real good scrub with our crb and that just helps to emulsify and break down any of the sticky residue that's in the carpeting. And then the icing on the cake is to go back over with hot steam and just steam those carpets clean as can be. And to give it a little bit, you know, a slight rinse just to, to get that nasty stuff off the floor and into our truck. Which we're going to take to our location for proper disposal afterwards. So... Follow along with me and maybe learn a thing or two regarding carpet cleaning. Everybody's uh, carpet cleaning is based upon their own opinions and experiences regarding the equipment that they're using. Um, I hear people all the time get, shouting their opinion. They're very uh, passionate about it, but their opinion is biased to their equipment that they're using. So um, take everything with a grain of salt and apply it to your own application. Alright, so upon the pre-vacuum, we went ahead, we went through all seven areas, bedrooms upstairs and downstairs. We gave everything a very thorough vacuum and we've got more than 100% of a Kirby bag full of debris, as well as walking through the house and just picking up um, any big loose debris and strings and things like that that could be caught up in the vacuum cleaner. We went ahead and picked all those up. Um, so to adequately go through and just pre-vacuum everything, you're probably looking at about, well, I think it was around 45 minutes to an hour just going through 
vacuuming everything I absolutely could. And what that means is, uh, let's see, if I can get this vacuum cleaner over here to give you a, a little bit of a quick demo. Uh, to put it in neutral to keep kind of pushing around. So you give everything a good edge by just going along the edges like like so. So I always edge out every room where I'm working prior to vacuuming the rest of the carpets in the room. So I make sure that everything gets a good edge out. And one thing I do like about the Kirby vacuum cleaner is that it does have a central flow. So that means that um, the suction is actually focused right in the center of the machine. So whether you're edging on this side or edging on this side, um, both sides are equal. They both have equal suction and both suction is good. So uh, that's one thing you want to keep in mind when you are vacuuming a room is if you have a, a central vac, it, I mean, it works great. If you have it up, goes right up the center like that. If not, you want to make sure that you are edging on the side where the uh, the vacuum is actually picking up all the debris. So if it's on this side, you want to make sure that you edge on this side and vice versa. So just a little bit of an FYI while you're going through and that will help to improve your vacuuming performance. Moving along to phase two. So what this is, is the application of our pre-spray. The pre-spray is the beginning of the soil suspension process. And what it does is it goes down the carpeting and it uh, begins to loosen the dirt and break down all that nasty uh, sticky residue and things that are in the carpeting. Um, so what we have here are these two gallon jugs and I'm just going to go ahead and take this and apply it generously and liberally throughout the, uh, the establishment here. We're probably going to do like two rooms at a time and then moving along to phase three probably reintroduce this guy but um, this is who, what does the, the, the scrub. So once the pre-spray goes down onto the carpet and it's sitting there dwelling in the carpet, this guy comes along. It's called a cylindrical brush machine and you can see it has dual heads, dual brushes down there that are going to be scrubbing your carpet. And these nylon, soft nylon brushes are like little fingers that are getting down and combing, um, not only um, providing agitation to give the, the pre-spray and the carpeting a real good scrub, it's also pulling out lint and matted hair and such things from the carpeting as well. So it's like uh, taking a fine tooth comb throughout the, the carpeting in your home. Just a really good job. And it also helps just scrub out little spots and stains that generally are not going to come out with you know, a bit of uh, elbow grease anyway. So um, doing it mechanically kind of makes it easier for us so that we can work less hard. However, um, this is a timely process so it doesn't really speed things up. It just makes it our work easier for us to do. So like a pulley system, you know, if you have like a pulley system, sure you can cut the weight in half or in third, you know, two thirds or whatever, but it doesn't reduce the amount of work you have to do. Yeah, it makes the, uh, it makes it easier work, but it increases the work by however many pulleys you have. So, um, yeah, <laughs> maybe that'll be another day to be talking about elements of physics.